POLITICO REPORTING IN A BOMBSHELL EXPOSE THAT THE OBAMA ADMINISTRATION PLACED THE DEA'S INVESTIGATION INTO HEZBOLLAH'S DRUG TRAFFICKING AND MONEY LAUNDERING OPERATIONS ON HOLD, ALL TO ENSURE THAT THE IRANIAN NUCLEAR DEAL REMAINED ON TRACK. JOINING US NOW, REPUBLICAN CONGRESSMAN ROBERT PENNINGER, uh, WHO IS URGING THE HOUSE TO INVESTIGATE THAT REPORT IN A LETTER HE SENT TO THE OVERSIGHT COMMITTEE CHAIRMAN TREY GOWDY. CONGRESSMAN, THANKS FOR JOINING US TONIGHT. Uh, THIS IS SALACIOUS STUFF. IT'S SCARY. Uh, that uh, the lens that perhaps the previous administration went through to get this Iranian deal done. It is, sir. This is an egregious violation of the president's responsibility to protect this country. And uh, that's why I want a full investigation. You have senior officials from Treasury, from Department of Defense, who have spoken out openly with their names, not anonymously, uh, conveying that they were impeded in the process of this investigation. So uh, we must. Uh, uh, look at this. We may we must see get to the bottom of it, and find out exactly what was done. Right. And you know the impact of this is extraordinary. Uh, Hezbollah is responsible for transporting a billion dollars uh, worth of arms and drugs uh, in exchange for cash. Uh, they are a major factor in our war against terror. Right. I just hosted a, a meeting in Buenos Aires just three mm -hmm. weeks ago. Mariano Federici, my uh, partner down there, we had 220 members of parliament and government leaders from 15 countries addressing this very issue, uh, the nexus between uh, the drug cartels and the terrorist organizations. And, and just to bring the audience up to speed, this was a campaign dub project Cassandra launched in 2008 by the DEA after they amassed yes. a whole bunch of evidence that Hezbollah had actually transformed itself, Absolutely. not just from a military and political organization, but into an international drug crime syndicate cartel. Exactly. They were ready for prosecution, and they were impeded uh, through this, in this process, uh, by uh, individuals in the administration. Uh, different people have spoken out to this effect. So I, I think it's critical that we get to the bottom of it. Even, frankly, I do believe that the Attorney General needs to be fully engaged. I think the most shocking uh, line, one of the more shocking lines from this article, is that the Obama administration, through an increasing, increasingly insurmountable series of roadblocks in the way, now, I think one of the questions will be, was that perhaps, if this is true, to appease Iran or at, or at the request uh, and demands of Iran? You don't know. We need to get to the bottom of it. Uh, many people were involved uh, in this article, and dozens of people were interviewed. A number of them are named personally. This is well-researched, uh, well-sourced well uh, document. And I think we do need to understand exactly how it unfolded, because clearly, uh, this was done to help process a very misguided uh, agreement with Iran. Every uh, one of our friends in, in the Gulf states has, has said to me that it was a poorly constructed deal. Right. In fact, one of them said, sir, if we, it's like if we went to Moscow, we negotiated an agreement with Ukraine without talking to Europe. Uh, we know Iran. If you don't, we do. All right. Congressman Robert Pettinger. Thank you very much for your time and, and your diligence on this. And obviously, we'll bring you back soon to get an update. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. You I'd bet. like to now bring in our panel, Gail Trotter, independent woman.